Hey everybody, Angie here. Um, this year, creating my digital planner, I wanted to offer a free version of a digital notebook. So you could use that um, to see if the digital planner is gonna work on your device. I guarantee it works in GoodNotes on um, Apple devices. Um, I don't guarantee it works with anything else. So I believe it works with Notability. Um, I'm not sure what is on Android because I don't have an Android device. So I wanted to create a free digital notebook for you to download and test and see if you like using the digital version, see if it works on your device um, before you go and purchase a digital planner. So um, I will link below um, in the description where you can download this planner. Um, I'm gonna link to it real easy here. So it's gonna bring you into um, a Dropbox. You're gonna click on the PDF and this is gonna download the PDF. Um, this is, I guess you could print from here if you wanted to, but that was not how this was intended to be used. This was intended to be used in a note-taking app um, where you can link and copy pages and move pages um, and all that jazz. So to do that, you're gonna click these three dots up here. You are going to click Export and then we are going to click the More tab and we are going to open it in GoodNotes. You want to import as a new document. You don't want to tack it on to whatever is here. So make sure you click Import as New Document and Import to Documents. And here we go. We have our digital notebook ready to go. Um, we have a cover sheet. We have just a little blurb there that I wrote to you. Um, this link right here links into my Etsy shop. Um, I right now still only have the 2020 planner in there. Later today or early tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get the 2021 version all loaded up into my Etsy shop. And then there is a link to my YouTube channel, which obviously if you're watching this video, um, you found. So there's that there. So there are five tabs and a blank tab. So each one of these goes to different sections of the notebook. And these are like dividers. So behind page one, I have two lined pages. The way I made this was so you can maybe real quick kind of use good notes. Um, to go into edit mode, you hit that pin with the circle, come over to the pin, and now we can write, let's say this is going to be, oh, low battery, better talk fast. This is going to be my prayer requests. So, prayer requests. Okay, so let's take that out. Um, and now behind that, I put two pages. I randomly put lined pages. Um, I put lined pages behind tabs one and two. I put dot grids between three and four and blank pages behind five. Um, if your tabs are not working, you're in editing mode. So get yourself out of editing mode. That's what editing mode looks like. That's what it looks like when you're out. If you're in editing mode and you try to click a tab, you are just writing on that tab. You're not clicking on it. So get out of editing mode and click there. There are blank pages in the back. Um, and there are ways to grab these and move them throughout your planner, duplicate pages. Um, I'll show you real quick. Um, I go into this in detail on the digital planner page. But let's say if we wanted, I put two pages here, let's say we want three pages, then you click the four squares. I'm gonna click the down arrow. You can see that that highlighted page is the page that I was on. Click the down arrow, hit duplicate. Now I have three lined pages. Now I have four lined pages. Um, so now behind this section one, I have one, two, three, 
four lined pages. And again, if I wanted a blank page, I would scroll down, grab the blank pages. So I would hit select. I would select the blank page, hit copy, done. And then let's put it after the fourth lined page here. I'm gonna hit the down arrow, add page after, paste page. So now behind number one, I should have four lined pages and one blank page. So tab number one, I have one, two, three, four lined pages and one blank page. Um, that is how customizable these digital notebooks, these digital planners are, and they're pretty amazing actually. So again, if you want more in depth on how to use good notes or um, if you want to take a look at the digital planner I have another video just for that one so thanks for watching and I hope that you like digital note-taking and digital planning just as much as I do